Hey guys, we're here with Sydney to the Max star Jackson Dollinger. We're going to shine a spotlight on. Stay tuned. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us. I'm your host, Shay Jones, and I am here with Jackson Dollinger. How are you feeling today? I'm great. How are you? I'm feeling awesome. Nice. Like, are you super excited to be here? Yes, I'm really excited. Let's get into it. Yeah. Like, did you know you always wanted to be in the entertainment business? Well, I started off because my friend was uh, doing commercials at school, and I'd always ask him, hey, you want to come over after school? And he'd say, no, I have an audition, and it became like a constant thing. <laughs> and it started to get kind of like every day, and I was like, you know what, Mom, Dad, I want to try this. So... I got a commercial agent, and I went out on a couple commercials, commercial auditions, and my first audition, I booked. It was a Nissan commercial, nice. and that experience was super fun, and I got a couple more commercials, and I just kept going, and eventually, my team and my mom and my dad, we were all like, you know what, it's time for me to like step it up, go to theatrical. So I started doing theatrical, and eventually, I got Sydney to the max. That's awesome. Thank you. You just saw your friend, you're just like, I want to do that. Yeah, yeah. I love that, though. I think that's cool, and you're so good at it. Thank you. Like, you're so cool on Sydney to the Max. Thank you so much. We'll get into that later, because I love the 90s, so I really want to delve into that. <laughs> um, is there anybody, an actor or actress in the entertainment business that you admire? I really admire Tom Cruise, because I really like him, because he does his own stunts, and he's super subtle and a natural actor. Okay. What's your favorite Tom Cruise movie? Or if you're allowed to, if, that you've been allowed to see. <laughs> Mission Impossible, the new one. Okay. That I was like a that. good one. Yeah. I just love Angela Bassett's in it. <laughs> that is my, my favorite reason for everything. Um, so you're no stranger to Disney because before you did Sitting to the Backs, you did Puppy Dog Pads, do, Puppy Dog Pads doing voiceover. And that's obviously very different. Yeah, voiceover is a lot different than theatrical. It's super fun, though. So... What did you like the most about doing the voiceover side of it? So, f for Sydney to the Max, we one episode was taped over the course of a week. So, right. we'd rehearse and then shoot for two days. So, with the voiceover, I'd go into the studio for like 15 minutes and just do it, bang it out. So, that but was a lot different. just 15 minutes? Yeah, like 15 minutes for one session. Did you just show up in your pajamas? Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Want to look professional. Okay. I mean, me, I would just want to show up my pajamas. Like, yep. That's like the only time you get to just be you. But it was different. Like, I like voiceover because I was voicing an animal. And I think oh, it's really is. cool to make an animal talk because they normally can't do that. So that was really cool. That sounds really fun. Yeah. Now, Sydney to the Max, how was that audition process for you? Sydney to the Max, well, the audition process was pretty long. First, I self-taped. They didn't call me back for like a month. And I, then I went to a producer session, and that was, like, that was really fun. It was a great experience. And after that, I got a call back, and then we went to the wrong studio. We went to Las Palmas, but it was at Disney Studios. So we made a total mistake, and we were like, ah, it's not meant to be. It's not going to be my role. But they called us back. They wanted to see me again. So we did that. You went to Las Palmas instead of Burbank. Yeah, That's, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And uh, that was pretty crazy. It was kind of a, it was a bummer. So after the next callback, it was the test. Or there was like a couple callbacks before the test. Mm -hmm. They did a mix and match before the test, and the mix and match was with um, like Ruthie and Ava and Ian and Caroline and Christian. But um, or actually, I didn't meet Christian till the test. But after the mix and match, we did the test, and the test that was crazy. The test was super fun. We got there. To Disney Studios in Burbank and basically what happened was they pulled me in and then I went back out and I waited like another like 30 minutes they pulled me back in it was like in and out like every couple minutes just they would pull me in and um, we started to go with Leo's they started to pair me up with Leo's and I did a couple Leo's and that was really interesting because I got to see how I work with the other kids so that was pretty cool and I went up with Christian, and we just did really good together. <laughs> and uh, they said, all right, you're good to go. Oh, I also had my skateboard during this process. 
because they okay. knew I was a skater and the nice. characters. But originally, the character was a rocker. I can, they, I can see both. Yeah, they changed it to a skateboarder because of me, and originally, Sydney was a skater, but they changed her to a bassist because she plays bass. Okay. So they, we basically Switched. swapped <laughs> talents or skills. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we were about to leave, and they said, wait, wait, are you still there? Come back in. So I had my board, and I went back up, and it was just me and, like, the whole network or, like, the execs and all of them, and we started talking, and they were like, have you ever ollied over a person on a skateboard? And I said, yeah, I have. So the network executive lays down on the floor and tells me to jump over him on my board. I'm like, oh, okay. So, <laughs> and, and the room was pretty small, too. So, like, I barely had any runway. It was on carpet, too. Ooh. So Yeah, it was on carpet. So he laid down, and I just sent it, and I did it. And they didn't, they didn't get it on film, so they made me do it again. So I did it twice in a row. It was really fun. I mean, that's one way to book the job. Just yeah, I'm just gonna do, yeah. do a skateboarding trick over in uh, the yeah. of Disney today. <laughs> yeah, it w that was a crazy experience. That was super fun. Oh, that sounds so awesome. What was your reaction when you booked the role? When they said you have the job, you are now Young Max. I was freaking out. I went crazy. I was like running around, <laughs> and I like was on my knees, like yes. It was it was really cool. But how I figured out that I got the job was my mom was like okay so you need to go to the manager's office they Disney called my managers this was all a prank by the way uh they said uh we need like something on tape so my manager we I got in front of the camera and we were talking and he was like okay so here's what you're gonna do and he just said like some random things I don't remember and then he said and oh Disney wanted me to tell you you got the job and I was started like freaking out and uh, just, like, at the camera, like, ah. Uh, because like, Disney wanted it on tape. Oh, my gosh. That's, yeah. So I can show it later, possibly. They all pranked me. That's an awesome prank, though. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you booked the job. You yeah. won. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds so cool, though. So your scenes that you do as Young Max mm -hmm. are set in the 90s. And I feel that's not your house. <laughs> no. You didn't grow up in the 90s. No. Um, I feel like that's a different experience for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was the strangest thing? to learn how to use? Ooh, probably the lesson, they taught me how to use a payphone because I had no clue how to do it. I was like putting the coin in, like <laughs> like an arcade game, like you put the coin in, mm -hmm. you select your stuff. So I was like putting the coin in, dialing the number, like picking up the phone, and like I didn't know how to like end the call because normally on the phone you just hit the button that says yeah. the hang up thing. And I didn't know how to do it, so they had to give me a whole lesson on that. They also gave me a lesson on rotary phones because I didn't know how to do that. I was like, why do you have to spin this thing? And then, like, wait for it to come back. Yeah, yeah. It was crazy. That's cool. I mean, it's interesting because, obviously, you I don't you didn't grow up with beepers or no. pagers. Yeah, the beepers were really cool. Or cell phones that are almost as big as your head. Yeah, the cell phones are huge. Now you can, like, just fit them in your pocket. Yes. But they were, like, bricks. They're, like, I think, like, this like this much height. Yeah, with yeah. The long, like, with the long, like, the long antenna, yeah. Just so you know, so you know, you, you reach everybody. <laughs> you yeah. To, yeah. To <laughs> what were some of your favorite things that you filmed that were in like the '90s set? That was cool for you. It was really cool. I like the arcade set because there's a bunch of old school yeah. '90s video games and like uh, in my room because there's a lot of like old school skaters that like I hear about that are like legends. So I have a bunch of posters of them on my wall. There's also CDs and like. Uh, what are those called? Boom boxes? Like, <laughs> the boom boxes. Yeah, yeah, in my room. So my room set is really cool. It has a lot of, like, 90s things. I love your, your wardrobe that you wear. Only because they're, like, classic tees. Yeah. Of old school, like, Led Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. And I'm a huge Led Zeppelin fan. I think that's, that's cool. such a great choice for young Max. Like, mm -hmm. I think every young boy during that age most yeah. likely wore those shirts. Yeah, Nirvana, too. Nirv oh, yes, Nirvana. You can't go wrong if you're wearing a Nirvana shirt. Your day should be infinitely better. Yeah. You weren't gonna run it. <laughs> and like speaking of nineties icons, mm -hmm. you have one on your show playing your mother, Caroline Ray. If you guys don't remember, she was on on Hilda on Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And she only gets better with age when it comes to comedy. She kills it. it she's phenomenal. She's so fun to work with and she really brings the energy to the set. And she's my first she was my first T V mom, so it was really cool because I've never had a TV mom before, so she was my first one, and that was really cool. 
Was there any like advice she gave you while you guys were filming this season that really like touched you? Yeah, she's given me some pretty good advice over the course of the season. Like uh, during rehearsal, she says like pitch your ideas to the director, and if they don't like it, at least you tried. But she always tells me just like go for it. I mean, that's all you can do. Yeah, just go for it. Yeah, what you get is a no. So yeah, I think that's like, the worst. I think that everybody should know that. The worst you get is a no. At least you did it. You tried. Yeah, yeah. Best thing ever. Um, there are a lot of cool themes in the show that you guys have touched on so far that we have seen. Yeah. But what has been your your favorite thing that you filmed, even if we haven't seen the episode yet? What was a favorite theme of yours? Well, my favorite theme was um, me and Caroline were shooting a scene, and it was like my dad didn't show up. And it's like even though a parent or someone that you like really care about can't make it sometimes – you got to still make the best out of it and try to have fun still. And that was like, that was a really emotional scene. And one of my other favorite themes was probably stay loyal to your friends. Because me and Christian, like, we got in a few fights. Like, not like in real life, but like <laughs> on the show. Character wise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just stay loyal to your friends. I like those themes. Those are great themes. I, I, what, my favorite thing about the show is the. The dichotomy of the '90s sets, like mirroring mm -hmm. the yeah. now, the net here and now sets. That Just Sydney's with like going different through. decor and stuff, like yeah, yeah, like Sydney's hair, like wanting to do her hair. That red on you was <laughs> everything. <laughs> I was like, if you wanted to be a rocker, like they kind of yeah. gave it to you. Yeah, they actually gave it to you in a way. That was yeah. everything. How was, how was that fun for you to have your hair? It was. It was <laughs> really cool because I've always wanted to like bleach my hair and make it a color, but my mom always said no. <laughs> So when they said, like, okay, we're going to spray it red now, I was like, oh, cool. So they basically, like, took me outside and got this, like, special hair spray paint and was nice. like, all over my hair. Yeah. Well, at least you got to do it. And yeah. And you could just like, Mom, it's for my job. Yeah, yeah. So it works. You yeah. Know? <laughs> um, now being on Sydney, in the, Sydney to the Max, you're a Disney Channel star. How does that feel? Well, I don't really think of myself as a Disney Channel star. I just think of Jackson. Like, yeah. And my family just thinks of me as Jackson. <laughs> so when I hear the word Disney Channel star, it's kind of like just different. It's really cool, though. Like, have you been recognized now? Yeah, I've been recognized a couple times. Is it weird or nice? No, it's really nice. I love the fans. They're fun to, like, take photos with and hang out with and get to know. That's really cool. Um, what, simil what would you say are your similarities and differences? When you're being Young Max. So, me and Young Max are very similar, but we're also very different. Uh, we both love to skateboard, and uh, I, I've been skating since I was two. It's my favorite thing. And we are different because Max isn't, Young Max isn't the best student, and <laughs> I get straight A's, so. Okay, come on, straight A's. <laughs> the honor student, I love that. Yeah. So, what do you love about school? School... Uh, school is great because I love writing. I like okay. language arts class. That's super fun. Writing's great. Do you like bug the like the set writers? Like, what are you doing? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm always like out. looking at their scripts. Like during run through, if I'm not in the scene. I'm like, what are you writing? I love it. You know, you're learning. Yeah, I'm learning a lot about the camera angles and like directing and all that. Now, if you want to branch out, would you want to do writing? Be a scriptwriter, directing, possibly all of them. I'd like to try all of them. I'd like to try writing, directing, maybe being behind the camera. Nice. What has been your favorite thing about being on Sitting to the Max? It's just super fun. The cast and crew is just super fun to work with, and it's an amazing show. Any other shows that you are watching right now that you're so into? Ooh, I really like um, Bunked. Bunked is not, yes. yeah, that's a good show. And Coop and Cammy, they're really nice over there. And everyone is just great. I love it. And you, you know, you've been in Hawaii now. Yeah. You've been in Walt Disney World. Mm -hmm. What's been your favorite Disney experience? Disney experience. Well, I didn't go to Hawaii for Disney. I went there for like a surf trip just to. Just like, to surf. Yeah, yeah. And um, probably my favorite Disney experience was Florida when they took us to Florida. That was super fun because it was, like, my first time getting recognized because, well, it also was a little bit of an advantage because 
and they had giant cameras behind us the whole time. So it's kind of you, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that was a really fun experience. Now, since you've been skating since you were two years old, what yeah. was it about skating that you're just like, I love this? What was it about it? The freedom of just like trying it over and over again. You don't have to like listen to anyone about your like style. You can just do your own thing and just skate how you want to skate. You can skate whatever too, like ramps, street. You can skate whatever, like just jump off a couch or something, <laughs> like anything. Okay, I want. I would actually like to see somebody skate off of a couch. Yeah, I would love to see, actually know what that looks like. Just like caveman off the side. <laughs> okay, what does that mean? So caveman is basically when you're like standing on something and you grab the board like this and you just jump to flat, but you land on the board. So it's okay. like super easy. But so he has to teach me something. Yeah. Too. Um, because I I've never heard that term, but I like it. <laughs> Kind of only, I think the only skating movie I've actually watched was Lords of Dogtown. Lords of Dogtown, that's a great one. I love that movie. Yeah. And the fact that they had to, you know, make a documentary about it before they can get people interested in it was cool. Yeah. Like, show, like people need to see us. They need to know our story. I think that's really cool. And it brought a new light to the skating world. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, I think the only people besides that I knew was Tony Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> that was about it. Tony Hawk's just, like, typical one that everyone knows. <laughs> So if you could compete in a skating competition, oh, I do sometimes. Oh, yeah, you yeah. Do? I ha I did like more when I was younger. Like mm -hmm. when I was like six, I was in like twelve year old divisions, like competing. So nice. That was really fun. Trying to show these showing these twelve year olds, you got skill to say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you win any? Yeah, I would get like, uh, like Burbank Castle contest. I got like second and like Skate Lab contest, like all those. Now that um, Sydney to the Max has finished wrapping up first season and you're trying to get back into that, because yeah. I know you're starting school again. So. Yeah, I've been skating, like, during the season, but not competitively. Okay. So just skating, like, just as a weekend kind of thing. And you know you're starting back to school, mm -hmm. like, going to regular school, and that's yeah. school. Fun. Yeah, it's super fun. What's, what's been your favorite thing about going to a middle, being in middle school? Just the change of, like, because there's more kids, of course. <laughs> like, yeah. we just have, like, four or three other ones, except me. So, uh, yeah, it's just, like, a change of pace. Change of pace. I like that. And what would you say keeps you grounded? Just hanging out with my friends and family and still keeping in touch with my old friends from school. I like that. That's how we stay true to who we are. Yeah. Um... If you have, like, to have a bucket list, what are some things you want to, for acting-wise, like, if you want to do Marvel, you want to do DC? For like, acting-wise, well, I have, like, a bucket list for, like, just myself, okay. and then I have, like, one for acting. So, the acting would probably be, like, uh, work on, a, like, a superhero movie or, like, an action movie where it has a bunch of stunts and I get to do them all. Okay. And for, like, my normal, just, like, bucket list... Probably, like, go to Indonesia and, like, surf Bali or, like, just travel around the world and, like, nice. skate and surf and stuff. So, how proficient are we at surfing? Because I feel like we're surfing, surfing in Indonesia and yeah. Bali. I started surfing, like, a year ago. Okay. So, I'm not, like, as good. I'm a bit, way better skater than I am a surfer. <laughs> but the skating made surfing easy because it's... The balance. Yeah, the board sports are, like, my thing. <laughs> well, that was yeah. my thing. <laughs> yeah. Now, D23 Expo is happening again this year. Mm -hmm. Are you going to go? Are you excited about yeah, it? Yeah, I'm really excited. There's also Fan Fest, too. Which, is that the same thing? As I think D23? maybe. Yeah, that that's really going to be fun. What, what has been, what's your favorite Disney movie? Favorite Disney movie? Animated or, like, regular? Dealer's Choice, you know. Okay, animated. You can, you can be more than one. I'm, we're, you know, we're I like, for you. I like, uh... Incre oh, Wally, Wally, <laughs> hands down, Wally was so good, and uh, that's probably my favorite Disney movie of all time. Wally, yeah, I've only seen a little bit of it. I feel Wally is so good. It's like about a robot and another <laughs> robot. No, I know. Mm. I think it's adorable. I, I just, I love how he says his name. I, I'm a princess. Wally. I'm a princess girl. Like, oh, okay. I love like Moana and Tangled. Moana, that was a good movie. That was Coco good. was everything. Coco, Coco was good. It made too. me cry. Yeah. It's like not fair. Yeah. Like, why did you have to make me cry, Disney? We're here for you. Um, <laughs> I love it. Um, so, just you're only you're 12 now. Yeah. And this is your first show mm -hmm. doing sitting to the max, and I feel like that's such a like amazing thing for this to be your first show, even though you started in commercials. Yeah. To now be 12 and have a show on Disney Channel, does it ever feel surreal? 
Yeah, it's just crazy. Like, sometimes I just wake up and I'm like, I'm on Disney Channel. Like, it's crazy. Do you want to do a Disney? Like, would you like to do a Disney Channel movie if it, it's offered? Yeah, yeah, it's offered. But my team is also working for another movie, too. Like, just different things. Oh, do you have any new projects you could maybe tell us about? No, I'm just going out on auditions okay. right now. I try. Yeah. <laughs> I try, guys. I'm here for you. <laughs> um, so you and Christian mm -hmm. play Leo in Young Max. I, I do love the arc I love the arcade scene. Mm -hmm. There's just something about that entire set that is just nostalgic on one part. Yeah. But on the other part, I want to be like, you're 12. How are you working right now? <laughs> I don't, like, like, it kind of makes it hard to, like, think about, like, how are you working at 12? But I love it because, like, it's also showing a sense of responsibility. Yeah, yeah. And just, you know, I'm taking, you know, ownership and making money and financially figuring out, you know, for myself. Yeah, it's like showing kids that you can get a job, but it's kind of hard in today's world a little bit for younger kids. Yeah. It was I, easier I, in the 90s because they had more freedom. I also feel like in the 90s, like, kids were like doing uh, newspaper routes yeah yeah like, like riding their bikes and like yeah, tossing and them just newspapers. tossing the yeah. newspaper i mean we don't do that anymore mm, no but i feel like we should bring that back yeah that would be a cool one bring back if there was something from the show that you could bring back now from when you do like the 90s what mm -hmm. would you want it to be freedom, <laughs> freedom. <laughs> just just to like be able to ride your bike anywhere or go to the arcade and like not have your parents just like always just take you everywhere you can it's like more independence I like that, but on the other hand, that's so interesting for you to say because I, f I feel like so many kids now actually like that aspect of yeah. like just being driven. Oh, and you want like you want the more freedom side. I'm of an it. outdoors kid, so like I just like to be outside and roam around. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do outside? Like just play like tag or go hiking? Play basketball, skate, play basketball. okay, surf, like free dive in the ocean, like just. How do you free dive? Free diving is basically just a mask and fins like no oxygen tank okay and you like go as deep as you can and just like explore down there that's so cool yeah it's super fun what did you do did you do that in hawaii yeah i did that in hawaii too yeah nice now you're from la yeah and i would say like, that's like a unicorn there are few <laughs> few and far between people who are actually from la who did not come here in yeah. this industry what is your favorite thing to do in la favorite thing to do in la i mean the weather's great so <laughs> like you could go to the beach a lot, and I just love to be outside and, like, PE at school is, like, always the best. And so anything outdoors. Yeah, like, anything this is my, outdoors. This is my, this is my like, jam. Yeah, soccer, basketball, skate, everything. Like, What's your, like, go-to karaoke song? Ooh. Oh, that is super hard. I try. God's Plan, Drake, or something. Okay. Like, or, but that's kind of old, like sicko mode or something like what's that you know uh travis scott okay i don't think i've heard that one yeah before. but i also like queen a lot too okay queen yeah. yeah so like don't stop me now that one <laughs> that's a great one um uh Have you we seen will rock you yes it's super good it's so good. i highly recommend that movie it was really good I, I thought it was i think rami did such an amazing job embodying who freddie mercury was yeah and the fact, and like everybody, like who played the band, and then mm -hmm. opening up the Oscars and having the, it was just, yay! Like, have you seen the new Stars Born? I did. I, it was I was blown away. I really was. And yeah. It was so funny because while I was watching it, I'm like expecting tears because I just know some people who cried, and it's like I'm not getting tears. I don't. What were people talking about? And you know the last scene. Yeah. That that is what hit me. The lyrics. The just. The cinematography of it all. Shout out to my dad because he did the sound on that movie. Shout out to Jackson's dad for doing. He did a. We get a clap for that one because that was awesome. Thank everything you. Everything about the, from the sound to the way Bradley shot everything was great. Yeah, it was so good. It was a really good. I was movie. in tears like just from the lyrics of the end song because if you just pay attention and that somebody had to explain to me it was actually his suicide note and I didn't realize mm. it. I was like, whoa. It's heavy. Like, it's heavy, and you're just like. Okay, I see you. What were some of your favorite Oscar movies that were nominated this year? Well, Stars Born, because I'm biased. But that <laughs> yeah. was also, that was like a really good movie. It was really well done. Yeah. I liked Bohemian Rhapsody, even though it beat my dad and his sound mixer. But uh, 
My dad's a boom operator and a sound yes. mixer is Steve Morrow. Okay. So it was, it was kind of a bummer that it be my dad. But man. it didn't. It, I mean, Shallow Love original song. Technically, yeah, yeah. It counted. It yeah. Bit. But uh, I really like the short film Bow about the little dumpling. Oh yes. That movie. That I was, mean, that little short was so good. Disney has some amazing shorts. Mm-hmm. Like when they when they're opening up either like the new Disney animation or the new like uh, Marvel. I love those. I think they're so intricate. Yeah. Each one is a, like a different phrase that they're touching on or just mm-hmm. a, a different romance. Yeah. In a way, and I think it's so cute. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so. I me mean, I was so sad about because she ate the dumpling. I know. Like, <laughs> like yeah. how do you how do you feel about this now? Like, yeah, it was so good. That was a really. That's some one. great things. Are you excited for Frozen two? Yes, Frozen two. Olaf all the way. Olaf. Yeah. You just like. Hands I down. hope he doesn't melt though. I hope he doesn't melt. I mean, you have. I think because Elsa's there, she can just do the flurry. Yeah, yeah. Like they can just travel. Yeah. Because my this is my theory. Because I saw the trailer. So the theory is that their parents are still alive. Mm-hmm. That is like the theory I have now. That's the only way I feel like they le- they're they leaving Arendelle and trying to travel overseas. Mm-hmm. I could be wrong, but that's the theory I'm sticking with today. Yeah. That's a uh, good guess. You know, have you seen Descendants? Descendants. Yeah. Mm, a little bit. No, I'm right. not really familiar with it, but I've seen a little bit. And I've heard amazing things about it. I heard it's really good. Yes. The third movie's coming out this summer, and mm-hmm. I'm so excited. I kind of hope they do a fourth because I can legit see like see you be one of the prince's sons, <laughs> like coming through. Thank you. I can see it. Like you, those charming smiles, the dimples, it's gonna work out. Um, since you being an actor yourself and just starting when you started, what advice would you give to other kids watching right now who would like to become actor and actresses? Well, I would say just work hard, stick to your goals, and most importantly, have fun. Those are great. That's great advice. Have fun because you like sometimes we hear a lot of no's. Yeah. It's what you, and you just have to, you know. Yeah, and and don't give up. You're gonna get like no's. I got no's. Everyone gets no's, but <laughs> you're gonna get a yes eventually. So just work hard and keep going. That's so cool, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in with us, Jackson. Where can they find you? Like at Jackson. Instagram? Oh, at Jackson Dollinger on Instagram and at Jackson Dollinger on Twitter. And you guys can find me on Real Shay Jones on Twitter and Instagram on Sundays at 9 p.m. Black Monday, 10 p.m. Now Apocalypse, and 8 p.m. on Tuesdays doing Good Trouble. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Thank you so much, guys. guys. Bye. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to After Buzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. (laughs) The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.